A canard plane has a smaller wing placed in front of the main wing. A canard wing can be used to decrease the main wing's loading, to make the aircraft more maneuverable or to increase stall safety. In this video, we will look at how to design a canard airplane so that it is stable in flight. This includes the size of the canard, holes to be used, and the CG location for stability. In previous videos, I discussed about wing loading and how it can affect the wing area and performance. Now, supposing you know your model's wing loading and you have calculated the required wing area, we can proceed further. For canards, you have a choice to make. To make. You can have a control canard or a lifting canard. Control canards are used for maneuverability, while lifting canards act as a second wing. Let's say you calculated your total wing area required. Now you have to divide the total area into the canard area and the main wing area. You might already have a design in mind, such as a small control canard or a large foreplane or even a tandem wing design. As an example, Suppose you give 15% of the total area to the canard, and the rest 85% is the wing area. There are two main requirements for pitch stability of canard airplanes. First is that the front wing must stall before the aft wing. We can understand this by a simple example. Suppose during flight, a gust of wind causes the plane to pitch up. If the canard does not stall before the main wing, it will keep lifting due to the high angle of attack. This makes the plane unstable. On the other hand, if the canard does stall first, it will lose its lift and the plane will come back to its original position. The second requirement is that the aft wing airfoil must reach its angle of zero lift before the canard. For example, if the aft wing airfoil has its zero lift at minus two degrees, then the canard must have a zero lift even more negative, say at minus three degrees for the aircraft to be stable. This can be understood by thinking of the plane diving. In this nose-down condition, if the back wing keeps on lifting even if the canard reaches zero lift, then the dive will become worse. However, if the aft wing airfoil reaches zero lift first, then the lift of the will bring the plane's nose back to its original condition. These two conditions can be met as follows. One is by designing the canard with a higher aspect ratio than the main wing. And second is to use a heavily cambered airfoil for the canard and a moderately cambered airfoil for the aft wing. These two design aspects must be kept in mind while designing a canard airplane. In case of our example, let's choose a canard aspect ratio as 8 and aft wing aspect ratio as 7. As for the airfoils, let's choose the NACA 4412 airfoil, which is a heavily cambered airfoil for the canard, and the NACA 2412, a moder moderately cambered airfoil for the aft wing. Now that you know the aspect ratio and the wing area of both the wing and canard, you can find its cord and span using these formulas. Now we must locate where the plane's neutral point is and where to put its center of gravity. There is an online calculator by RC Planes Online to do to do just that. Go to this website and simply input your design parameters using the same units. An easy way to do this is to open a CAD software such as Onshape to sketch the design and measure the parameters. You would need the values for the canard and wing root cord, tip cord, sweep distance, and half -sweep. You would also need the distance between both the leading edges. Once you have entered all this information, select a static margin, ideally between 5 to 15%, and click on this button. Now, you will have an idea of where the aerodynamic center and the neutral point are, and where the CG should be. All distances are measured from the canard's root leading edge. You can go back to your sketch and mark these points. Now you know how to design a canard plane and make sure it will be stable. I hope this video will help you design your own canard airplane. If you found this video informative, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. The channel. You can see other airplane design videos here. Thanks for watching.